Yeah. You're just in awe the, of it, aren't you? Just the way- I'm amazed how two people can buy a baby on the internet for three thousand pounds and not realise it's a chimp till it goes to school. No, 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 but seriously, what would- you know, talking about their drawing elbow and fallen angel, <laughs> uh, we were talking about that I think- Yeah. If you're locked up- well, not locked up in a room, you've got a normal life except there's no women in it. Yeah. Right? But how would that happen? What would this point of reference be? How would you bring right, up a person wait, can I just ask you totally- though? Go on. How can infinite monkeys and a typewriter- Right, again, I've told you before, right, that is not- you don't actually have to test that model. It's- it's, um, basically a model for the- th that explains the nature of infinity. Okay? Yeah, but... I've told you before, it- mm. it works because of the definition of infinity. There's no- there's nowhere in the world you'll ever be able to get an infinite amount of monkeys and typewriters to comp- But anyway, all I'm saying yeah. is, I think if- if you don't know about women, would you crave for a woman, even well, though you, you don't you, know her you, 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 When you hit sort of puberty, your hormones will kick in and you'd- you'd start getting urges. But for what? If you don't know about it? You don't have to know about it. You don't- when- if you grew up and you started feeling hunger, you wouldn't go, I wonder what that is. You'd go, get me a sandwich, I'm starving. It's different though, it's different. But I'm not, um, but, but we're oh, not it's saying weird. it's, uh, it's all hardwired or people are, t can't change their, their natural state. We do it all the time. We fight nature all the time with conditioning. That is weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, well that's I, that I, one. I'll tick that. It's weird, isn't it? No, I'll the body is. There was something, yeah. did, you, did you read that thing the other week about, um... Man with two penises? <laughs> no, 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 we don't need that. We don't need uh, that. lawyer who got in office realised he was actually an orangutan <laughs> and they just shaved him, put a suit on him. From Hugo Boss. And the funny thing is, he won the case and the judge said, well, <laughs> don't send him back to the jungle. Let him set off on his own. Bodge it, wibble and podge. <laughs> You'd make the best judge in the world. No, there was a fella- Here's a banana. There was a fella who, um, was in a coma for twenty years. Hmm. Just, they, they kept, like, taking him t through, like, the normal day, they took him to Alton Towers and stuff. He <laughs> doesn't know any, about anything about it, just kept going through the motions. Um, don't know if they kept charging him. Um, kept putting him through all that. He eventually came out of it. Twenty years. And went, stop taking me to Alton Towers, <laughs> it's shit! <laughs> I, j I just thought, imagine and how much post making, eh? How much post. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you gosh. read about that guy in the paper, Carl? He, um, <clears throat> sorry, on the internet, uh, <laughs> he, he in about I think it was about 1984, 85. He had a terrible car accident. But this went, must be it. He this went into a coma. This is must be what he's talking about. Well, they didn't take him to Alton. Of course they didn't. But you've got to try and decipher the truth from the conjecture, from the thing that he, he I mean, don't forget, Carl says, uh, realises that he's had a dream. He talks to Suzanne, he goes, that was good, wasn't it last night we were in the plane? She goes, no, that's a dream. He goes, oh yeah, where's my car flex? <laughs> you've got to, you know, I mean, I can now decipher what he's actually seen, what he's read. Well, go on, what, what, what did you- Well, I'm assuming it's the same guy. <laughs> it is the same guy. guy. Uh, it was a guy in, uh, some small American town, yeah. and he'd had a car crash, and he'd gone into a coma, and his, uh, wife had, uh, left him, she'd gone on with her life, because he'd been in a coma since then. And he had just woken up recently. Marriage wasn't working. <laughs> Marriage wasn't working. Uh, he just wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> uh, he actually had, she was pregnant at the time, and so now his daughter, his, now, his daughter is basically the same age as he was when he went into the coma. And, um, God. he's just started coming around, he's just started making jokes. He says, they said, uh, how do you feel? He said, horny, which I thought was quite witty for a man who'd been in a coma for, uh, for many years. Um, but anyway, yeah, so he's slowly trying to rebuild, uh, what, life he can- he can. That's what do you make of that though? Cause he, the thing is that he's missed- imagine what he's missed, Carl. Imagine the music that he's missed, the Live TV Aid. programs, Miss Live news. Aid. <laughs> Live Aid. He's missed, he missed uh, the Phil Collins Mills. playing in two continents in one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which, uh, frankly, I'd be devastated if I discovered missed, that. Miss Bross. Yeah. Yeah, so he doesn't- so he put on ripped jeans and they go, pass, eh? They just have to send him a series of those, uh, <laughs> I Love 1986 exactly. programs with Kate Thornton filling him in on what he's Exactly. Missed. Peter Kay reminding him of space hoppers. Yeah, he really remembers about those. Talking rubbish. Yeah, so, so um, extraordinary though, isn't it, Carl? To think. Mm. No, obviously. So not. Had, had he aged much? Because he hadn't had any problems or anything. No worries. Well, he probably, wouldn't, he probably wouldn't have physiologically. He probably wouldn't have the wear and tear of a forty-three-year-old no. man because he wouldn't have sun. He wouldn't have had sort of nicotine, beer. Um, and they were just feeding that to him. <laughs> anyway, still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, 
So you feel groggy though, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, <laughs> you might feel a bit groggy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's not. He's not fully back to normal. I mean, there's no, some just... kind of residual brain damage. Yeah. But nevertheless, he can form sentences. He's got very. He's got no real memory, so he can't remember a lot of things. It was just when I saw. Carl, have you been in an So we. Uh, <laughs> Giving the answers out for what's in there. Oh, later, later. Play a tune. I'm yeah. bored. <laughs> Best sleep dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ricky, I know you're a uh, Neil Young fan. Love him. You probably won't have this album. It has basically not been available for years. It's never been available on CD before. It was part of this kind of trilogy of albums he did that were very depressing, and uh, they've just been re-released. This is absolute dynamite. It's uh, On the Beach. On the Beach? Yeah. And that's the opening track, Walk On, Neil Young. Brilliant. On XFM 104.9. That's the sort of stuff. You've had satire, you've had a little bit of politics. You've had, uh, we said, we said spunk, which is a bit naughty, isn't it? Which <laughs> exactly. is a bit cutting edge. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you've had Neil Young and Jane's Addiction, so. I can't think probably of quite anything else I'd rather. Down work. with the kids and everything, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, pretty hip, pretty weird. Yeah, so. Oh, do you know what else? <laughs> I wish Tony Blair would just stop. Oh. Doing what? Uh, yeah. Doing stuff wrong. Good, that's good. Who else is there to have a go at? Um. Oh, Peter Mandelson. Or someone? <laughs> no. No? No, he's good, isn't he? Cause is he? He's, he's good because he's gay, isn't he? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he is. If he's not, then I'm sorry, but if he is, then well done. Brilliant. Good to, uh, all gay people good. Yeah. Um, any underprivileged people, you're all brilliant. But people who are overprivileged, oh. Do you know what I like? Go on. Foreigners. Do you? All the mad shit they get up to. <laughs> oh, what is you it? You see on the news. <laughs> it's yeah. just that interesting, isn't it? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> it's a, I'm watching, yeah. I'm going, what are you doing yeah, that for? What are you doing that, boy? It's, it's all, weird, isn't it? Killing and that. Yeah. So if you're listening and you're watching radio, and good stuff, and good stuff, and yeah, well, yeah, you're a Disney. That's good. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's the sort of satire and the way we can yeah. kind of tear apart popular culture and just get yeah. to the very nub bit. Um, well, can I just leave with this? My, do you know my favourite country? Africa. <laughs> it is brilliant. Not it's, it's a country, huge. but it's huge. all the countries except the bad ones. Remember the bad ones? All evil ones. Play yeah. record. Oh. Anyone at Radio 4 is listening. Yeah, we would like to get on some <laughs> kind of satire show, please. <laughs> Long view and further on XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, yeah. The Holy Trinity. Yeah, going well at the moment. Not bad, going not bad. Well. You were just talking about, um, foreigns. Love them. And I'll tell you something, I've been meaning to ask you this for a while, because I know you're a very well-informed man. You yeah, political educated. and sort of liberal and that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How does Chinese work? Well, the language. I can't figure it out. No one knows. I can't figure it no out. No one knows. It's like, it's not like any other language. No, it's not. It's, it's not. You know. Either spoken or written down. Well, I, it's not written down, it's, it's... Well, when it's written down, it basically looks like kind of little children's drawings of those little paper houses that Chinese people live in. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> what it, it, loads it is. It's, it's, it's and it's little. loads of them, it's hundreds of them, from what I can make But, I mean, out. even French have a go. It's not uh, even the French, um, like, right words, but they've got some they of the make, right letters. Like and they're going, oh, hello, how are you? And it's exactly. sort of, they're trying to do the words, but yeah. there's just something wrong. I think it's, this, it's like a speech impediment, I think. Exactly. Yeah. Germans um, are similar. Yeah, Germans are like going, ah, how are you? And they're trying to do the they're words. Trying they're trying to speak English, but it's just Chinese. No it. effort. <laughs> it's just, for want of a better word, it's, it sounds, when I listen to Chinese, it sounds like gobbledygook. That is a dialect. I yeah, I that's can't. One of, that's the, I think that's the main dialect. That, Mandarin, and Orangutan. <laughs> I but I mean, I uh, uh, that. I can't, but seriously, I mean, I can't. Figure it out. I just, I, there's no, I've got no grasp of how, because it doesn't seem to relate to anything. Wait, I've there's ever not heard. real words because there are sentences. Like you know, we have a word. If we said, um, uh, a gentleman sits by the stream of fish. I've said it often. Yeah, we use all the different words to each one of those words, so we've got a word for each of them. Yeah, yeah. they haven't. They've just got. I think it's like a triangle with a line through it. Right. So right, which right, can right. get confusing because you yeah. know. Yeah. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That's just. That's what, I think that's like a, I think that's like a little paper house with a feather on top. <laughs> right, right, um, right. But if we, if we got- Personally, this is what I would love to do. I, I want to use the fact that we're on the radio to answer these questions possibly. Yeah, to, to tell me about other cultures. I would love to speak to a Chinese person. Yeah. A Chinaman. Well, or a Chinaman woman. A Chinaman woman, I thought it's yeah. fine. But I'd just like to speak to someone, ideally perhaps, you know, a professor of Chinese. Or someone who uh, works in a chip shop, but someone <laughs> who was actually born in Chinaland. <laughs> someone born in Chinaland. Someone born in Chinaland, a Chinaman or a Chinaman woman, just to talk us through exactly what 
that was go they're going on about. Exactly. <laughs> and it's not, it's just because I'm very ill-informed. I've only really seen, um, Chinese people in kung fu movies, <laughs> you know. So Chinatown? Chinatown, walking through Chinatown. Mm, as we've said before. Not really a town. Not really a town. More of a novelty street. More of a novelty street, a slippery yeah. novelty street. Exactly, yeah. So, uh. Because I remember watching kung fu a lot. They always used to speak. They always they always speak very slowly, don't they? They do. They're very kind of mysterious. Yeah, inscrutable. They, ne they never really set. They are they are unscrutable. <laughs> you cannot screw. You Chinaman. cannot screw a Chinaman or a Chinaman. They are unscrutable. They are non scrutable. Yeah. If yeah. I was to go out in the street now and try and screw a Chinaman, <laughs> you'd have no chance. <laughs> not because they you are inscrutable. Not, you could not screw a Chinaman for love and the money. <laughs> they are anti scrutable. Yeah. Yeah. To um, I could possibly screw a Chinese woman. <laughs> well, I don't think, you, I don't think you'd have any luck. You've had no but anyway, luck. if you are a Chinaman or a Chinaman woman who can just tell us basically how it works, how would you teach us the basics of Chinese if you if we were going to go to China and we wanted to interact? Where would we start? What would be the first words we would say? How would we say them? How would we write them? Please <laughs> help. This is going to run and run. <laughs> What's the number, Carl? Oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three. See proper normal normal talking there yeah. from Carl Pilkington. There's got to be one thing, though, isn't it? As a special treat, <laughs> a return, sort of like a summer special, an end of term, well, a gift to the fans, Carl is bringing back Rockbusters. Oh. No. Know, do you want to explain it? Uh, Rockbusters is basically Blockbusters, completely ripped off, done with music, um, that may or may not be a cryptic clue. And may or may not be the actual band name, and may or may not be the actual letters he said they were in the first place. Do you want to sort of describe one though, in case someone's a new listener? And, like, well, know, exploding pet was atomic kitten. Yeah. Okay. But so. basically, for those of you who are new to the show, this is the final show. Uh, Carl reads out what he considers to be a cryptic clue. It's yeah. not a cryptic clue. It's just some words, it's just a yeah. string of words. Yeah. And from that, you are supposed to deduct the name of an artist, or a group, or a band. Um, we've, we've had things like the Jamaican fella swinging a fish round, that was de Trout Spinners. De Trout Spinners. So that's the sort of, that's the level of intellect you are getting from Carl Pilkington. What was the Just one? do the competition, what? I was thinking you f- was it that she, she fell down Wet in Texas? Wet Knee Houston. She fell down into a puddle in Texas. On, yeah. a, on a knee. Wet Knee Houston. Yeah, so you said it twice, it's not cryptic, it's not so like just that. do it, come on. Right, so there's three of them and you email in your answers, we've got some good prizes to learn that. Right? Well, um, let me take the prizes, let me take the prizes. They yeah. aren't bad. They're We're bad through it, because this, you know, yeah, 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 the, the, yeah, yeah, the competition's yeah. bad enough, let alone just listening. What, what's They've he got? got three got? DVDs Brilliant. and about six CDs. He's got the young ones yeah. and all that, lots of TV things, yeah. there's some great CDs, yeah, go on. Right, so the first one, uh, cryptic clue. Um, this vegetable mm -hmm. started life down under. Right? Mm. This vegetable started life down under, the initials K-O. Right? K-O. This vegetable. Started life down under. Second one, um, the things that, uh, you normally find on the beach, right, have been found floating around the moon. <laughs> mm. Right? Yeah. That's, uh, I think it's T.S. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you think it's T.S.? Yeah. You set the questions, but you're not sure. Um, so, the things you normally find on the beach have been found floating around the moon. Right. And the last one, uh, well, if you put that many in the post, I'm surprised I didn't receive one. <laughs> right? He thinks they're great! Well, he thinks he's brilliant! Well, you know, if you put that many in the post, I'm surprised I didn't receive one. Is it locked in? He did all the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The initials there, FC. 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 Mm. Right? So you email in the answers, ricky.gvace.xfm.co.uk. But now the answers to Rock Rockbusters. Busters. Right, do the clues. Alright, the uh, first clue was uh, this vegetable started its life down under. Uh, the initials were KO. That was Collie Osborne. Right? <laughs> Collie Osborne. <laughs> the second one. Was no, no. no d what, are we, what are we letting that go? Yep. We haven't got time, Rick. Well, it's just, no, it's, just, it's just not the word. We haven't got time, Rick. Also, cauliflowers don't start their, uh, don't start uh, down under. They're 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 on top. It's not like carrot. No, or... down under is in Osborne. Osborne, born, born in Os Osborne. 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 Right. Right. Collie. I thought you meant start. Co Her name's not so, Collie. Right. The second one was uh, the things that you normally find on the beach. Right. They, they've been found 
floating around the moon. That's the space shells, right? Specials. <laughs> just tweak it a bit. This is shells. rubbish. I mean, I, I, I tell you, no, this isn't even funny though. Special. I mean, they're no good at all. Cryptic. It's not cryptic. It's wrong. Cryptic. It's not cryptic. cryptic. The last one was, uh, well, if uh, if you put that many in the post, I'm surprised I didn't receive one. Go on. That's FC fifty cent. Right? What? Fifty cent. It was fifty cent. I didn't receive any, so. So. He's <laughs> Collie Osborne. Collie. Her oh. name's not Collie. Her name is not Collie. Doesn't matter. Well, one. Well it done. does matter. Well done to Gina Ferry, who has emailed in. She's got all those answers right. Yeah, just, and, uh, just emailing your address and that. Mm. Yeah, email that. You're in, such Gina. an idiot, Carl. As are you, Gina. Right. <laughs> you're talking about, uh, because you're talking about the zoo, though, and I, watched, I was watching the news last night, and it had, um, a feature about Madame Two Swords. Oh, they yeah. were saying that they'd, they'd scrapped many of the royal family. Now, I don't in this, but I've never understood the appeal of Madame Two Swords. I just genuinely, with no irony, I cannot see the appeal of sort of having my photo taken next to a waxwork of J-Lo. I know. I, d I, d I can't compute why that would be fun. I don't know. What is it? Do they move? Because they don't move, do they? No, they just stand they there. I know. So genuinely, I mean, it's so crowds of people queuing up and people queuing the, up to the, have the photo taken with the rules. And the, I don't. the queue would put me off immediately. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just down the road, but isn't it? But so you go home to your friend and go, there's me, I, I, there's me with Kylie. Yeah, it's not Kylie, is it? Oh, no, it's just funny. a wax effigy. Oh, I thought you yeah. met her. No, 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 it's just a waxwork. Right. It's not even the real person. It, it, I, if you've been to Adam Two Swords, if you have any understanding of why the appeal there, email oh, them. Well, let's, no let's not diss them because they might melt down um, Ricky Tomlinson one day to do me. <laughs> sure. You yeah. never know, you yeah. know. Uh, or Rick Waller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to put them off. But seriously, I mean, I don't, I'm not being You know, Roy Kinnear might be in there. What is made. the appeal? Genuinely, what is the appeal? To walk around a number of like But that's the same as lookalikes. When I see it at the back of the stage and it's got like, um, uh, uh, I don't know. Susan Gooding is Caprice. Yeah. And you want to go? What? What do you do with her? Oh, five hundred quid. She comes and stands at your party. Yeah. And people exactly. go. She looks a bit like Caprice. Yeah. Don't go too close. She yeah. does. Yeah. It's like Caprice over there. No, but it's. <laughs> it looks a bit like. Yeah. There was one in the back of the stage which was so and so is Jordan, and it was a woman who was a buxom girl wearing very little. I buxom. Thought... <laughs> <laughs> Are you from the West Country? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I thought to myself, if you're willing to get your knocks out pretending to be Jordan, <laughs> just get him out and become a patient your model. Yeah. Stop yeah. pretending to be Jordan. And call yourself after another Middle Eastern country. Yeah. Don't just, yeah, don't just- It's very odd. I know. God. Very strange. But you've got a lookalike now, haven't you? Yeah. It's but so it's, odd. But it's a bloke, right, um, <laughs> sort of at his desk, right? In the picture. Uh, in the picture, and it's, it's David Brent. Yeah. And it's got Ricky Gervais. Yeah. <laughs> so- but I don't remember it's just an old fat bloke with a beard. Alright, don't have a go. Alright. Play a record, Carl. I'll leave for that. Hickory Dickory Docks, some lads there just wrote a song called Clocks. The lads are Coldplay. <laughs> and the song is? <laughs> Clocks. Beautiful. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, pressing the little buttons there. <laughs> XFM 104.9. What's that? What's that little mmm? Well, I think I do more than press the buttons. Right, see, this is, this is it, right? A car was had a little strop on since last night, okay? And it's- <laughs> He's had a little strop on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you said strop on. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> and, uh, it's- I don't- I, I don't know why. He says that I'm an annoying person. He yeah. says that I wound him up, right? Um, which I don't know. He, he says that you're- you're winding up because you're sort of like negative about I'm everything. I'm negative. Yeah. And um, but what I think it is, is because we pointed out that his lateness is unacceptable. Yeah. He said, meet you at six. He turned up at twenty past. He said, well someone stopped me in the corridor. I don't care. I've got stuff to do. I'm we have stuff to do. I think we're a bit busier than you, Carl. You've got one job. We've got loads of jobs. I keep telling you that. Yeah. You've got one job in a little room, a nine to five there, that you don't even get done in nine to five. That's why you're late and mucking around all the yeah, time. Yeah, because there's loads of work to do. Yeah, one right. job. No, cool. it's not. It's, it's one job with a lot of other jobs in it. It's like those little Russian dolls you get. <laughs> right? Well, it's so not, is it? Go. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Everyone thinks, oh, he only sits in his studio messing about, making songs a phrase. That's what I do in my free time. <laughs> Which we've got coming up later. <laughs> <laughs> Super slick. <laughs> oh, I still dear. think twenty minutes late is an outrage. Though, yeah, Carl. twenty minutes late is. Yeah, but I didn't say bang on six. I said you said six. six. No, you didn't. You said six, which means six. 
Well, it doesn't. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, what? it doesn't. If it was a newsreader, I'd say, yeah, you've got to be on time. Do you know what I mean? If it was a six o'clock news, I wouldn't want to be late. But it's the fact that I said to you, I'm busy, I've got stuff no, to no, do. No, no, you didn't say that. You said, uh, six o'clock to sort uh, out tomorrow's show? I, I didn't. I know what I said, so. Yeah, well, well, that, so. well uh, you don't, because I remember you sent me a text. You didn't even, it wasn't even a phone oh, call. You didn't even have the politeness to call. Oh, Stephen has stitched him up by being a little bit more precise than him. It was a text and it said, uh, see you around six tomorrow, question mark? Around. You just said it. Well, you were six. It, that doesn't yeah. count. That doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, no, it does. What? So let, right, you Rick, told me he said six. Well, he did. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Six o'clock, Rick. To me, it, around, even if it was around six o'clock, oh. that would be five to six oh. or five past six. It would not be twenty minutes oh. after the event, because yeah. that is late. Yeah. Well, you can't even. You can't. You've got nothing. You see, you haven't even got an excuse. Yeah, but then I turned up, yeah. right, and I said, right. Well, let's not argue about this. Let's come up with some good new features because we've been in. Uh, cheapest chimps, that's Brilliant. gone today. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> he never- he never liked cheapest chimps, Carl, right, did he? Right, he never liked it. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. Do you know who's took it further? Donald McIntyre. <laughs> what? He's doing- he's doing a programme, Cheapest Chimps. <laughs> no, he's, he's not! not doing the channel well, well, we'll see. Again, I'll prove you right. Again. He's, he's not- wrong. he's not doing a programme, Cheapest Chimps, is he? He's, he's not- what do you mean?! He's doing a tour of trail on Channel 5 and it was saying, you know, is it five this. or is it about twenty past five? He's do doing this. He's done that. You know, now see him on Channel Five because he's moved to Channel Five. Right. He's saying first big problem, uh, chimps. You know, they're deer and that. And, uh, <laughs> no, they're not deer. He's uh, getting confused. No, no, f f fifty odd grand for a chimp. And he's saying, you know, he'll look into how much you can get a gorilla for. <laughs> what are you? What are in the name of God are you talking about? We'll talk about that later. But I don't know. What I don't know. What? I'm just saying that that's another idea. And then, yeah, yeah. So, so go on. You got off. This is why you never get stuff done in your yeah. life. You got off the point. You were talking about arriving late. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying to you now. I'm just saying. I turned up late, so I said, right. Well, let's not argue. Yeah. I said, let's do some stuff. Yeah. You weren't having any of it. I think at one point you were trying to be sick on me leg. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> why? Just, just for fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I, that's when I started getting annoyed. <laughs> He was very annoyed last night. <laughs> no, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, I, I can see where that could be annoying, but you just gotta think, hey look, so what? It's, you know. Well, well. I think you rub each other up the wrong way. Yeah. No, that's the problem. Well, no more cheapest chimps today. But right. nothing to replace it because we didn't have a chat. Mm -hmm. Songs of Phrase, we're doing that. You can win some stuff. Yeah, we've got the film that we got haven't done for the last two weeks. The final film, we won't be doing Let, that. Let him down. It's two weeks. Don't you say two weeks late on that? Well, yeah. Can I just ask, guys, is there going to be some great music? Yeah. Well, what I've about got some... something from the un only ones? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Classic, yeah another, 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 another planet, 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 planet. planet. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, shite. Monkey news, the jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> okay, there's excellent. been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me twenty quid. Yeah, well that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so there's, that's there's one in there. New music, new music. New new monkey news <laughs> from last September. You're a lord. Come on, waster. Please, Ricky. Monkey news. Um <laughs> right, there was this this monkey in uh in a zoo in Brazil. Right. All right. Mm. And uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey, and uh, you're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said uh, the people in charge were like, "Oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids?" Brilliant, right? So uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand, sort of, you know, they'd have the little caves each, and they used to sort of, <laughs> they used to sort of uh, lean on the fence, having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you Just know, the, yeah, gossiping, yeah, gossiping. The equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like- <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was fascinating. Uh, yeah, just- just gossiping, I understand. So, uh, uh, what's, uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know, What was the monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on. It was from last September. Go so, on. they were, um, they were, you know, stood there having a chat and the zookeepers were like, I wonder if they're ever gonna, you know, have kids and that. Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages, you know, this just chatting. No, no sort of action. <sighs> So what the zookeepers did was, they uh, they said, "I know how they'll have kids." Are we letting that go? They were just chatting. Are we just letting just, that go? Letting you it know go. what I mean? They, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So um, so yeah. So the zookeepers were like, "Yeah, I wonder when they're gonna you know have some kids." Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do t to sort of do to egg them on? Yeah. Um, bought them, bought one of them a suit, won a wedding dress. Right. 
Keep going. No, I'm not having Shut it. Shut up, Jamie. Fade him down if he's going to interrupt. I want to hear got, the rest of this. They got, they got married. So and, they got uh, married. Yeah, they got married. Right. What? That's the end of it. That's. This is why I don't. Right. <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. Don't do that again. You've got no features left. Why don't you like that? What? Well, this not a story. See? It's got, it's about two chimps chatting, which doesn't happen. The zookeeper's going, I wonder if they can ever have kids. And come on, they got married. That's the end of the story. What are you talking about? Hang on, just calm down. Let me just check that you didn't make a mistake there and didn't lose out. What do you he mean may... you didn't make a mistake? Shh, shh, wait a minute, he may have just left out a fundamental piece of information. What, the would, story? That would have made it into a story. Right. Let me just check, let me just check the facts. So they, they, they bought them wedding outfits. They were married. Did they propose to each other or did they, were they just forcibly Don't married? Don't encourage just, him. Just forced. Onto and it. then what was the outcome? Once they got married, what happened? They fell in love? Yeah. What? Whoa, it's quiet. not a marriage, Carl. Be quiet. It's not a real marriage. I don't know what you've got in your head. It's like the head of Homer Simpson. I'd go in there and there'd be a wedding reception and there'd be a couple of fights and they'd be talking about stuff. They got married. They fell in love. Did they have children? Um, they're not back off the honeymoon yet. <laughs> <laughs> Play record. You got no features left. We've yeah. got, um, Go on. Educating, quick, quick. A, a, educating Ricky, where yeah, our teachers what, 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 Cause you taught me that people used to eat tomatoes off lead plates in the land of Narnia yeah, last week, which was good. Last week. Yeah. No, it's was... only tomatoes they eat off the lead plates, by the way. Why, why didn't they think other fruits and vegetables were poisonous? Be no, it wasn't. It was because tomatoes had acid in them. That was the problem. You see, you don't, don't, don't listen. listen, right? Well, lots of fruits have acid in them. Yeah, but they didn't eat them back then. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have bloody kiwi fruit and stuff, don't did they, back then? bloody. You're a producer. Come on, you'll start, I'll start saying uh, shit and cock and stuff, you start saying bloody. Tits. <laughs> right, so, right. Uh, What is this? What are you doing now? This is educating Ricky. Right? Oh, ah, good, I'm gonna look forward to this. Yeah, Three Ricky. topics that I teach you every week. Yeah. yeah. Now, um, obviously, I should just remind people, you normally summarise each of these in a kind of bullet point heading, which you tease us with, so yeah. what have you, uh, reduced them to this week? Right, we've got, um, Stocking, Aitken and Waterman. Stocking <laughs> Aiken and Waterman. Good. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? <laughs> We've also got, uh, what else is it? It's not his, his vault. Yeah? It's not what? It's not his vault. Okay. Yeah? And we've also got, get a lobe of this. Get a lobe of this? Yeah. Carl, they're genius. <laughs> Rick, are we choosing one of these after New Order? <laughs> Oh, Foo Fighters and All My Life on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just before we do educating, uh, Ricky, this is where Carl thinks he can give me something of interest and teach me something to take away. Last week I found out that, uh, somewhere in a strange land people thought tomatoes were poisonous because they ate them with lead. Um, things like that. Um, what was the other one you told me? Uh, what else was it last week? Uh, bit of worms. Cut yeah. me off. Yeah. Oh, I, I, uh, sent him a text message. I was on the train, a bit bored, and, uh, I read in, I think it was Metro, scientists have found out that, um, uh, worms get stressed, and they found out that, uh, the fat ones, um, didn't live as long. And when they checked the thin ones that lived longer, they found out they had a gene for de-stressing them. Right? Carl, what, do you remember what you said? No. He went, well, that's stupid, isn't it? He said, did these other ones die of natural causes? <laughs> I went, yeah, he went, all right. Because it could be that the fat ones couldn't get off the pavement quick enough and got squashed. <laughs> so maybe the scientists go, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, they come to think of it, they were flat as well as fat. I yeah, think the reason that the, uh, worms are getting stressed is because, uh, people like Carl are cutting them in half to try and make two snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two worms. Well, yeah. Well. That's the concern. <laughs> he huh? said, he said they can't even commit suicide if they're stressed by cutting <laughs> their throat. <laughs> I also sent, um, what I thought was quite interesting that the scientists have found that, um, the elephant hasn't got the best memory. The sea lion has, uh, right. based on, uh, they've, they've got a sea lion and they, uh, got it back into the old, uh, laboratory. Ten years after it, it taught it a simple trick and it could still do the trick. What did you say to that, Carl? I'd say they don't go up to much anyway, <laughs> so if you do teach it something, it is gonna remember it. Sure. Cause it's got nothing else to do. Yeah. yeah. And then it also, I mean, I like sea lions, they look nice and everything, but what do they do? What was that? <laughs> sea lions? <laughs> yeah, what, what are they here for? It's another jellyfish, so, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> like, it's there and people know about them, but what do they do? Mm. Yeah. What, does what do we do? do? What do we do, Carl? Well, what do we do? A cat, a cat, first, Steve said, is good for your heart. So you, you- Why is it all geared to what's good for us? Well, 
Anyway. Educating Ricky. Ricky. Uh, Good, we settled that then. Go on. The titles that are, yeah. uh, meant to sort of pull you in. Yeah. We've got, if, uh, what, what, what was it? So, Stocking, Aitken and Waterman. Yeah. You've got, it's not his vault. <laughs> and, uh, get a load of this. <laughs> get a load of this. So, uh, which pun do I pick first? Um, I think I'll go for, uh, get a load of this. Get a lobe of this. Yeah, get yeah. a lobe of this, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's a story about a girl who, uh, <laughs> she was deaf, right, for, for four years. And, um, it happened quite a bit back this. What year? Or was it? About, what, I think it was in, ages ago, was about, it? About, yeah, quite a bit back. Uh, she was deaf for about four years, having an argument with her mum, it said, which I didn't quite understand, because mm. I don't know how they do that. Yeah. But she was having an argument, well, and a man pushed her against the wall, yeah. and she banged her head, and her hearing came back. Okay. Uh, wh was she wearing a Walkman, and it fell out, and she'd realised, she oh, that's There's what. no explanation. There's no explanation? Well, why is that teaching me something <laughs> right, then? so I knew you'd say this, <laughs> right? So I thought, right, I'll stick something on it. Do you know that bees are deaf? <laughs> no! No, you can't just, no! <laughs> no! If no. you ask someone something they don't the answer, they don't tell you something else. Just I'll tell you something else then. I can't answer that, I'll tell you something else. Imagine that, if you asked a teacher. Look, how do birds fly? Wow, if you're gonna do that, tallest building is, <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> well, that's that was the equivalent, Carl, of running away. <laughs> when we asked you a question. Yeah, the intellectual equivalent of going, look over there, there's a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen. What do you mean? What she? Okay, so oh. so she. Her There's hearing no came explanation. Back. There's no explanation. <laughs> or you don't know. Well, there isn't one, is there? Really? It's a bit what, weird. Did, the doctors, the did the doctors not look into it? No, I think they just said, "Oh, that's good." <laughs> But, so, <laughs> again, I don't- where did this information go? Is that- if you read this on is the that net, is it? that all they put there on the There was once no. a deaf woman who hit her head and she and could hear. Came back. It was bizarre things about being deaf. Was there three, oh, like- yeah. was there I've got that book, yeah, it's a good book, that. Was there three yeah. more pages you just couldn't be bothered to read off? Yeah. No, no, it was just a little bit and it Was said, there a little picture, a cartoon picture? No pictures, I just read going, it. Ow! Look, ow, if you I don't can wanna hear. know, if you don't wanna learn, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, uh, uh, um, it's not his vault. Let me have it's not his vault. You've got to save this. This has got to teach me something. It'll be an interesting story. Right, it's not his vault. This fella. Yeah. Um, what year? Ages ago? times? In, I'd say in the 70s. Okay. Would you? <laughs> Any evidence for that? And, uh... Does he wear flares in the, uh, <laughs> in the story? Right. Is that it's your reason? No, it's, it's a bit like Yori Geller, this fella, right? Where oh. he's electric. He's electric. And, um... If he walks past the telly, the telly would fizz. Uh -huh. If he walked past the radio, it all goes like that. Ooh. His hair stuck up all the time, Ugh. and he'd be having a bath, and everything would be all right. And then the power would sort of switch on in his body, and the electric in his body made him jump out of the bath. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you mean so? What is that so? What does that so mean? You've given us nothing. You've given us nothing. You'd have to at least give us the scientific explanation. Yeah. Right? Electric eels have 400 volts in them. Oh, is this the running away again? <laughs> what was that one called? Yeah, but they-, they, they but it's there's- not, a, It's not his vault. But there's a reason <laughs> they- they- that- that- It's not his vault! It's not his vault! I thought it was gonna be something about keeping I think it we should, safe. I think we should do these the other way around. <laughs> I think you should tell vault. us the story and then we'll hear the pun. <laughs> It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Right, let's leave it. Play it. <laughs> Educating Ricky. Doing it. Uh, We're not doing it. No, we are. Oh. Don't, what? Don't look at me like that. Oh, Carl, what? you in a bad mood? The Carl, right, I'm all dreaming right. of you. Right, do the last one. Do the last one. Carl saying we're never doing this again because we don't appreciate it. Yeah, Carl, you don't know how good this feature is, mate. Right, last one. Yeah. Stocking, Aitken and Waterman. Go on then, tell me about that one. What's that? What am I gonna learn from this? Right, well, do you know the saying, put a sock in it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it already. Do you know the saying? Yeah. Right, well, do you know where it comes from? I assume it's shut up, so I'll stuff your mouth with a sock to well, shut you up. years ago. Yeah. Sorry, am I right? No, not really. Ages ago. 1970s? Uh, 50s, okay. I'd say. Do you know the old, uh, I'd say! Do you know the old gramophone? Yeah. With, the, with the big horn on it. Yep. Yeah. Right, well, those stereos didn't have a volume control on them, right? So they'd be listening oh, so to you'd put a sock in the and you'd put, mute. you'd put something like a sock. That's on. a real one, you see? That's taught me something. That's, that's good. 
That's yeah. excellent, Carl. That is the- that is the only one that counts, like chewing the fat, if they're true. I'm assuming they are. It works. It's of interest. I haven't got it verified yet, but that is educating Ricky. That's brilliant. I will say, the other two were more entertaining. So, you know, I do don't- you see, Do you understand the distinction, though, between that one and Electrical Man? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, <laughs> or, <laughs> I've hit me head, I can hear you, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> can you see the difference, though? Or- uh, are not, all, all not three because I when I read all three, I took something away from all of them. What, what did you take, take away, away from the electrical two? man? I just thought, oh, imagine that, imagine how annoying <laughs> that would be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. not education, is and it it's really? not taking anything no, but, away. Well, think about it, right? We take our lives for granted all the time, don't you? You get up in the morning, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll get up and walk for a shower. Some people can't walk, right? Yeah, yeah. This guy. You can't even have a bath. You know, I mean, it's nice to have a bath, isn't it, when you've got time on your hands and yeah. you can relax. This guy can't even do that. He might be alright for a bit, but he's not really enjoying it, because at any moment, it could strike. Yeah. So, he can't even do that. He can't comb his hair, because it keeps going a mess. Yeah. He can't watch <laughs> his Knocking you. No, can't. <laughs> does he- does he fight crime? What does he do with his powers? <laughs> yeah. I think he just has to sit around, because no one- he can't work with machinery. Right. Because it'll probably blow a fuse. Yeah, so he just sits around. Think about it, what can he do? Mm. What normal things can he do? Skateboarding. Going for long walks. Yeah. Put a wetsuit on. Well, he couldn't do that. Why? Ooh, water and electric. No, no, wetsuits aren't actually wet. <laughs> They're dry right, initially. But, just put a whole wetsuit on and walk round with flippers and A wetsuit's not like a dinner jacket that's like <laughs> really wet. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. all, all I'm saying is think, do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. And, right. and what was and the other the girl, the girl's death, <laughs> four <laughs> years, it's red. Yeah. That's just, What uh, have you learned from that? What is that? Well, imagine- imagine how happy you'd be. Remember that time when I, uh, <laughs> I nearly died when I choked on a Mr. Freeze pop? <laughs> <laughs> right? No, but, tell but, us that one again! No, I told you, didn't tell I? Tell us again! Yeah, but the people will remember it and then it's- They annoying. won't. They weren't listening. Go on. What happened? It was ages ago when my mum and dad used to go out shopping on a Friday- 1970s? Get, get, get the food in. <laughs> get- get a week's load of food in the cupboard and that. And we'd, uh, you know, they'd come in with all the food <laughs> and we'd all be like, oh god, you know, there's no food left on a Thursday really, so we'd all be hungry on the Friday by the time the food got in. Mm. I love that! And that I'd they would like, need a, it's a, it's a, I imagine them like jackal puppies. Yeah. Just like, like, <laughs> licking your parents' mouth for food as so, they come through the door. So they come in from the supermarket, they're emptying the box. Our kid had got some biscuits and what have you. <laughs> I, I, it's frenzy, uh, just a feeding frenzy, like pigeons. I grabbed the Mr. Freeze pop <laughs> and knocked it back really quick, but it hasn't. It wasn't frozen, so I knocked it back so it was like a liquid, and it went down the wrong way. Right, yeah. and I was choking. Right, and I nearly died. It, it must have been about how long can you go before you die? A couple of minutes to do right, it. I reckon about a minute fifty. <laughs> Right, I was, uh, <laughs> I was really close to dying. <laughs> How do you know you were close to dying? <laughs> me, uh, me, did your life flash before you? No, but I just was like, <laughs> there's loads of instances of him eating pops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, <laughs> just, I just was dead. Forty of those. Whatever, what, right? Anyway. What do you think you'd see <laughs> if your life flashed past you? What do you think? <laughs> which elements would stand out for you? Do you think? <laughs> what? what? Uh, Start now. Go back. What do you remember? What's the first thing you remember? As a kid. Yeah, yeah. just anything right. now. Being in a hall and having our dog licking my face. <laughs> That's your earliest memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Well, zoom. What's the next one? Oh, yeah. Right, next oh, one's probably die. what? Being at being at primary school with yeah. uh, Lindsay. Yeah. Was little, that your girlfriend? Well, a little friend who was a girl. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we used to have like tins with with letters in, and you'd have to write stuff. But anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> Right, so anyway. I'm intrigued by the dog right. that was licking your face. Well, been that. <laughs> Can we work with that? Rock no, it's busters. a great feature. I just think you need to be a little bit more careful about what, what you consider oh, to be mics. education. Oh, funny. Right. I fell right. over. All right, well, right. I'll. We'll work on it next week. Play right. a tune and. What have you oh. got for us? Because we've got a big competition. We've come on! We've only don't. got 20 Yeah, well, come on, then, quick, then. Do play something, play We'll come June. back with Rockbusters. What are we playing? Let's play a bit of two pack. Oh, that's what I'm coming out to, isn't it? fight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine it. Whack it up. Whack it up. Dandy Warhols, we used to be friends. That is Carl's favourite record of the year. Yeah, yeah. New, new, he music, gets, better new he gets, music. He gets, he gets one, he gets one play a year, and he chose that. <laughs> That's what he chose. It's all right, but I mean, that favourite track, isn't it? He played that. That was that was Carl's choice. Just something new uh, on XFM one hundred four point nine. Don't worry, we've got some really good stuff coming up later with me and Steve. If you're from the seventies, <laughs> you might like it. 
You see that he's getting too cocky, isn't he? Arrogant. It's sort of like, he's, I, I mean, we try and, we've tried and given him something in his life. He's got, you know what I mean, he's, is he comes in and tells us this, this sob story of just like a trail of failures and we've said, Carl, come under our wing, right? He just started picking up on him. A few other people's like, and then he does that. He, he fails at the burgers, he fails at the grapes. He will not trust us with, you know, what we want to do. I don't know what more we can do. It's like I've saved a mouse from a, from a cat's jaws and it turned around and bit me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's ex that is a brilliant analogy. It's a bit like we were trying to give you something that you could care about, that you could be passionate about, that would somehow give a meaning to your life. You would be in the Guinness Book of Ra Records alongside, I mean, Bubble. Bubble failed. Do you want to be Bubble? Do you want to be Bubble? Or do you want to be the bloke with the milk bottle on his head? <laughs> exactly. Who's in there? <laughs> the guy who make the watches. Yes! Now, I've got an idea, Carl, because you're getting all stressed out. I don't know what it is, you're getting funny, I don't know what it is, I don't know what- Because you're annoying me. Wow, well, you he say that. He started midweek. I don't- I don't think I annoy anyone else, so it's just you on that. So, I thought maybe we could all three of us go away to a little health farm for a weekend, just get a, like a, a triple room right, and just- that, that isn't happening. Why? Well, you've just reminded me, because you've been annoying me, Steve started getting on your case, you know, sort of ganging up on me. I'll tell you now, Steve, I just forgot. Remember a couple of weeks ago, you said to me that my pub team, pub quiz team is rubbish? Yeah. Right, well, it doesn't matter anymore because you're not part of it this time. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> That's bad because it's interesting you say that, Carl. Carl, you say that because I tell you this, I found someone, I found someone, mate, who could be, uh, filling that tricky fifth member. I wanted to test him out this week, mate. On oh. your team, on your team. Test out on your team. Because I'll tell you what this is like, I don't know if you're fam familiar with, uh, Paul Ince. Who used to play with Man United, uh -huh. right? But everyone used to say he's the governor, right? Even the players used to call him the governor, yeah. right? And Alex Ferguson at Man United was like, "I'm not having this. Yeah. I'm in charge here," and he got rid of him. And that's what's happened. You you were moaning the other week, <laughs> saying you, 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 your team's rubbish. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, let's see how you do on your own, right? <laughs> oh, he's turned, isn't he? I'll be honest, Carl. I'd like to be on your team. Well, sorry, uh, Paul Ince. <laughs> You'll have to go and join Middlesbrough, or wherever it is he's gone to. Carl, right? what can I do to get back on your team? It's not happening. I've already filled you boots. Don't let him have the upper hand, Steve. No, 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 wait a minute. I'll tell you what always annoys me, though. Ricky spends most of the show slagging you off, right, having a go at you, uh, annoying you in the week, squeezing your head, making you eat burgers, right, but you always take out on me. He I'm the one who always gets the insults, I'm the one who's now relegated from your team. Why, when, when, it, you see, this is the thing, you're just as bad as him, really, because you're siding against me, because you know that I'm, I'm willing to take it. You, what, it, the truth of it is this, you know <laughs> that Ricky Gervais is keeping you, he's keeping you in burgers and grapes, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> he's so the one that's got you in Heat Look, Magazine. I just spat all over you, do you? Because it's book of records. You see? Get me a tissue. He's just squirted tea, laughing all over your book of records. Oh, you, you made me laugh. I'm gonna get the flat for that. No, it, it's because you made me laugh when I was drinking, because you went, oh, it's like that, 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 and it made me laugh, and I spat I just, I just think it upsets me that you, that you never, oh. you never pick on Ricky, you never ever go in, because you know he's, he's the one who's, who's raised your oh profile and made you a little bit of a celebrity. We've, we've missed one here. Using his teeth, Raman Andy Apan, right, has to tow coconut. He did what? He husked the coconut. He's the fastest coconut husker in the world. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know, he pulls huskers, he pulls husks. What's that? Look at his little mice, what's, what's a coconut husking? He, he pulls the husks off and Look at Carl, just with his head down. <laughs> Carl, come on. What's the matter? Because that cost me 20 quid. I know, well I'll see you alright. I've seen- I'll see all over the world's smallest man. <laughs> Stood him next to the world's biggest man. Right, I'm in a bad mood now. Oh dear. Oh, I, I so you happy. haven't got a team, St 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 Steve? I'll sort you out. Come to me. I'll sort you out. Seriously, Don't worry. Mate, I, I found We're someone win. who would help you win this week, Carl. And no, I was going to tell you about it. And now, Steve, you can be on my team this week. And, I've, and I know something about the quiz that Carl doesn't know. So, I'll so. tell you. I just think that it's it's so ungrateful. Whatever. So ungrateful. Right, songs are phrase. Just give it a couple more plays. Just yeah. email him. We'll pick a winner soon. Uh, Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. Well, this isn't, this is rubbish this week. No one knows it because it's rubbish. Steve was right. Mm. There's six songs there, so if you know what they are, just. That's the end of that, I think. That's yeah. the end of Songs of Phase. E email in. I think. We've got no, 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 no. That's the last week for that. that okay, is rubbish. well, why don't you give us some monkey news? Is it monkey yeah. news time? Yeah. Come on, oh, monkey news. We'll play a song and we'll no, 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 no
Cheer up, Carl. It's Wait. new? It's Waiting new? for an alibi with Thin Lizzy. Oh, what year was it? Doesn't have to be new. It's brilliant. What year was it out? Oh, Einstein wasn't new when he came up with the greatest theory ever. Oh, hello, guy. Hey, oh, you're not new. You're not new. James Addiction, just because, on XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. We're all here then. Oi oi. About far, five past one. Yeah. Got two hours to go. I imagine you've got all kinds of treats lined up, Ricky. Well, there's on. lots of things on the show. Great music, you know, Nirvana, Radiohead, The Darkness, to name but three. Can I play you something from Led Zeppelin, later? Yeah, please do, and maybe some Neil Young. Oh. Um, now, coming up also on the show, we're continuing a thing we start. We've only got four weeks to go before maybe... We either give it all together or go away for a couple of months. Is it four months. weeks or three weeks now? Is it three weeks? Oh, sure. I don't know. I think it's the 16th of August, isn't it? It'll end soon enough. <laughs> wow. Might be that. It'd be a shame to end it forever, but it's all up to Carl. So again, he's in a grumpy mood. We've tried to try and up his attitude and it's, it's them. It's the listener that counts, Carl, not us. We may be feeling bad, but you, the listener, count. You come first, yeah? <laughs> okay, up, 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 yeah? Big. Big em up. Big up, London. Big up, you, the listener. Carl, leave yourself at home for a little while, yeah? Um, we're gonna continue that thing we started last week. We were doing the list of the most hated people in Britain. It's not us, it's the listener. So, we're, um, keep coming, yeah. uh, with those suggestions of people you just, uh, obviously, uh, you don't hate them. We don't want a list of mass murderers, dictators, and politicians. You can't have them, but, uh, Ooh, with- uh, mass murderers and politicians, what's the difference? Oh, good, good point. Oh, good point. Uh, satire. Satire, yeah. <laughs> no, but that, that's- we're, we're doing some jokes like that as well, aren't we? <laughs> satire like we're that. We're trying to get onto Radio 4. Trying to get on there, yeah. And, uh, if there's any kind of amusing show that perhaps takes a sideways look at the week's news and yeah. they need new people. Uh, if there are any Radio 4 producers who, uh, you know, been knocking around for about 12 years with the same old hacks and they're desperately trying to get on tally, they yeah. want to give us a call. We're not interested. No. No. We've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, so if people that you hate, um, minor celebrities, people yeah. on TV, pop stars you don't like, email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. And we're I'll tell you what, then we'll do like the Channel 4 do, then we'll give you the sort of list of the top ten at the end, and you can vote within that top ten. I'll tell you the ones out could in front wire, of- Sorry, could we wire up some kind of premium rate phone line so that we make a fortune? We can't it? afford it, but yeah. if when you email in, if you could also maybe- um, send us a lottery ticket, <laughs> yeah. then, you know, we make something out of this. The ones in the lead, I'll no, do in no particular order, but these are the ones way out in front at the moment, is Chris Moyles, Robbie Williams, Chris Tarrant, Davina McCall. Interesting. I'm sort of surprised at that, but yeah. I know that's probably just I over she's just been on TV too much lately. Maybe yeah, that t-shirt annoys me, big mother. Sure. That, that annoys me. Um, we don't care. We don't care whether you're pregnant or not. <laughs> Loads of people <laughs> have children. Yeah. I don't care. Get on with it. Um, and, uh, Dominic Mohan. So, uh, there's the, there, I mean, but, Think of your own. There's a lot of people just coming up behind there, though. Graham Norton. He's yeah, just approaching Graham Norton. from behind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's the sort of stuff! It's sort of like we've done satire, we've done we've innuendo! Done smart. I mean, he's, he's the king of the uh, <laughs> double anyone... entendre. Well, he's the king of the single entendre, but we can double it up if you want. <laughs> if anyone- 104.9, this is the sort of things we're available- Go on. If any I'm the loving this, this is gonna be good. I'm loving what's coming next, what? If any of the producers of Carry On London are listening <laughs> and they need some new talent to write some smutty innuendo, I think we're your men. Yeah. Um, anyway. Carl, you better press the knob, right, <laughs> to start the record. Spunk. <laughs> Spunk. Darkness. I believe in a thing called love on XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl set the ball rolling with, um, songs of phrase. Why don't they play swing ball? Referring, of course, to uh, people in, uh, wheelchairs who play tennis because he was disappointed they weren't getting around the court quickly enough, so why didn't they play swing ball? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Someone just emailed in saying because if they hit it to the top, they wouldn't be able to reach it to unravel it. Exactly. Which is a good point. Yeah. But I mean, nonetheless, good and bad in people in wheelchairs? Do you want to do that? Good and bad. Good and bad things about people in wheelchairs. Um, good and bad. Yeah. Um, I suppose, no really, they, they take up less room in cinemas, they've got their own seat. <laughs> um. Good. That's good, is it? That's, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, well done. Well done. That was bad. Uh, don't know, I'll have to think about it. Okay. But, uh, well, let's leave that, eh? <laughs> 
<laughs> you started it. The hate list. Can I just return your minds to the hate list? <laughs> I said on the hour that we would give you basically the top five. Now, we have to stress, this is the top five most hated people that you, the XFM listeners, have suggested to us. We have not massaged these. No. We have not made these up. These are coming from you. Last week we began it. This week you've continued to email. So this is the list. We do not endorse this list. Some of them we may agree with, some of them maybe not, but it's the list that you have come up with. We are merely the messengers. I tell you, it was coming through recently. Cameron, but he didn't make the top five. I'm afraid he was just a late Williams entry. dropped out of the top five. Robbie Williams surprisingly dropped out of the top five. Yeah. Uh, so let me tell you now, in no particular order, this is the top five that you're voting for. Listen well, I say XFM listeners, people who listen to this show. I don't- I mean, XFM listeners aren't typical radio listeners, and I think our listeners aren't typical XFM listeners. Right. So, I don't know what this poll- uh, what it's worth. What well, no. any poll's worth, but I mean, this one is probably worth very little. I think the way it's sort of worth less. <laughs> yeah, go on, who's the top five in uh, no so order? We, we want you, the listener, to then just vote, uh, email in with the one name that you, uh, that you hate the most, and then from this list, out we, of can, this we, list can, we can yeah. figure out the number one. Okay. But this is in no particular order. Chris Tarrant. Yeah. A surprising entrant. Davina McCall. Well, I don't think- I don't think he's that surprising. Well, anyway, I mean, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna editorialize. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm saying I imagine XFM listeners pretty much despise someone like Chris Tarrant. Okay, well anyway, Chris Tarrant's on there, Davina McCall, yeah. Patrick Kilty, right. Graham Norton, right. and Chris Moyles. Now okay. I'm not gonna say anything. Those are the names that you have drawn up. There are lots of others that didn't make the top five. Richard Magley was on there, Michael Flatley, Vorderman, bizarrely. Michael Flatley's a weird one. Very strange. Um, so Jamie Oliver, a lot of votes for him, but he's not made the top five. So those are the top five, just Email in with the number one yeah. that you hate. And, and we're talking about someone another that- Another pointless inane poll. Exactly. And this, then this time we did it. Oh dear. Moyles, Norton, Kilty, McCall, Tarrant. It's your choice. Who would you have Ricky, about this? Who, who would you have in your list, Carl? You're allowed to talk because you, people know your opinions don't matter. So, what? I, I honestly don't really hate anyone. That's, that's that nice. Much. I'm not that fussed, you know what I mean? We're not talking like too much him. about hate, we're talking about someone that- Yeah, we don't mean someone hate, you can't hate any of these no, people. All they've no. done was, it was pop, pop on telly. But I think it's people who, uh, as one, um, uh, listener, um, she put it, she sort of, so I think she had some of those, and she said, you know, I don't hate them, these are the people that if they pop on my telly, I have to turn over. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's not, you don't hate them, you, you, you yeah, know. Sometimes it's not their fault, it's like Davina, right? I used to quite fancy her. And now, cause she's always on the telly, it's like, oh, I can't be dealing with her now. Sure. Right. But she's still, she's still the same presenter, it's yeah. just that I'm, I'm bored with it. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, I'm not, I'm not getting involved in it. Okay. Do you know okay. what I mean? Don't want to offend anyone. Let me just give the email address. But I mean, uh, Let me just give the email address, I just said it, so look, talk over Okay, it. I'm gonna do Carl's top thing. Ro Ricky Gervais at xfm.co.uk. That's also the email address for your answers to this week's Songs of Phrase. Play it again, Carl, if you would. Go on. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Play the game of swing. <laughs> we just want the artists, is that right? Yeah, that will do. I've, I've got- I've got two that you- you- you don't like. Not, not- not that you hate them, but that you sort of like, don't agree with them. Um, would Liverpudlians be in your list? Probably. What about, um, gay fellas in toilets looking at you? Um, well I think they've sorted that out, so- <laughs> One of the prizes this week in Carl's goodie bag features this song. Play it, Carl. Oh, the Monkeys. Pleasant oh, Valley Sunday. Oh, God. <laughs> Same thing happened when I was at school and I had to play drums in Little Donkey. <laughs> I didn't tell my parents, right? But my dad turned up anyway. And what happened? He, um... How old were you, Carl? Well, it was- it was the school that I used to go to. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah! So oh, yeah! You went- well, used to go to the school you used to go to? <laughs> no, but what I mean go is, on. I didn't go to secondary, did I? So I missed a lot of that. Sure. But primary, I liked. Oh, It was okay. all colouring in and stuff. Yep. And, um, <laughs> it was a Christmas play, and I managed to get a part in it, and, um, Did you audition? No. <laughs> um, got a part in it, and I should have been playing the drums to, uh, the one about Kings, the- Three- We Three Kings. Yeah. Yep. I was meant to, meant to be doing that, but Little Donkey, Came on, and it was one of those. What do you mean, came on? That was like next up on on you know the the, the next song. Right, right. And it's one of them songs that you can't help sort of tapping along to. Yeah, do you know like um like if I if I was to go um yeah you'd have to finish it with yeah do you know that they actually send that into space? Do they? And what hoping the aliens will respond with that? Yeah, 
they do do that because apparently it's it it is one of the things that you can't help. <laughs> what even if you're an alien life form? Yeah, they, they know that, do they? Yeah. But anyway, what can they watch Star Trek or something? No, knock knock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Is it true like if they send out knock knock into yeah. space? Yeah, they have to say. Oggy oggy oggy. Ah, that is that is great. Oh, it, hold on, what's something out there? What's a little green fella? It, <laughs> that is great. Yeah, so anyway, that is little, donkey, little Donkey is like one of them tunes that you can't, and I was there and he had the drumstick and I thought, oh god. The I, drumstick! I could feel myself. And anyway, Just wanting to do it, yeah. I started going along and playing Little Donkey, which I wasn't meant to do, but it went down such a storm. <laughs> <laughs> what, were there people like parents and that dozing off and then suddenly they heard your version of Little Donkey and they thought, wait a minute, now it's really picking up. What do you mean it I'm went glad we paid a pound fifty for this. What do you mean it went down such a storm? They're going, hold on, is it, was it like when people Ringo... People have in the air. It like when Ringo joined the Beatles and they were going, yeah. boo, Pete Best, but he went... <laughs> yeah, they like, went, whoa! whoa! Oh, God. Well, but the teacher just said, alright, it went down really well, you can do that again tonight. Right. When you're in it again. But anyway, so my dad was there. And, um, and you hadn't told him about this performance, no, so he just turned did. up I off his own back. I never took the light as home and stuff to no. you know, show my mum and dad because it just put me off. So um, anyway, he turned up. Don't know why. He must have heard from someone else's dad. Yeah. He turned up, mm. and um, he, he swore about me. Which did I, he? I, I don't. Can you? What, could you? Could you use you a, a word? Is that allowed to be said? The word. What? Of course it is. Right. If you if you got a kid in the car or anything, you can turn it down now. Oh, yeah. Right. But he said. Um, it, there was a guy stood next to him with a camera, big video camera filming it, and he said, yeah, film it, but try and avoid getting the twat in the hat in the shot, because I had one of those porters, you know, the little round pork pie hats on. Right. This is so what, sad. What, was this a nativity play? It was about Jesus and stuff. Yeah, well, there was a porter there helping him with his bags. Of course I forgot. I yeah. mean, Mary and what Joseph, they the got there. Yeah, yeah, because sure. it was the whole, you know, because the, the inn was full. Yes. But I think the porter doubled up with the inn and the stable. Right, that was nice. So he, yeah, he yeah. carry bags over, yeah. Yeah, no, so you, yeah, yeah. You're right, though, I don't know why I was wearing one of them. But I was, and, um... And your father said that, and how did you know your father said that? Did he you hear him? He told me about it later. Oh, he told you about it later? Yeah, I was talking about stuff I'd done at school, and he said, oh, God, remember that, uh, and he, he... I spoke to him the other day about it. Right. And, uh... Yeah, oh, God! So that remember? was that was the end of your sort of drumming career, really, because it could have been. Yeah. I mean, you know, the audience loved it the night before. Yeah. <laughs> you could have like been like, who knows, a whole new world for you. Yeah, have you done any stuff? I never drummed. I've never drummed. I wish I had. Man. I wish but I had. Uh, that is that is. That's uh, a movie story, but is that and that's why you don't and you don't tell you still your mum and dad don't know you on no, the radio, do they? I think when they were down the other weekend, they had to come in. And I just said, oh, I'll just go in and press the buttons. Because they could listen on Sky Digital, couldn't they? They could do. But you wouldn't want that, would I, you? I don't want that. No. Play a record and I'll talk to you again a little bit about this later. Yep. Right.